Hello, this video is to show you a more advanced way of rewriting and simplifying an algebraic fraction. In this example, I am multiplying two algebraic fractions, and as you notice, they are all quadratic. So what I would do first is I would go ahead and factor each of these into binomials. Now, when you do these types of things, they will not always be factorable, but this one is set up just to show you a way of rewriting. Um, so this one's obviously difference of squares, x plus 4, x minus 4. And up here, this would factor to 2x minus 3 and x plus 5. Uh, this top one would be x minus 4 and x minus 2. And on the bottom, I would have 2x minus 3 and x minus 2. Now, when you are multiplying fractions, there's a shortcut where if they have a common factor top and bottom or diagonally top and bottom, you could cross it out. So in this example, x minus 4 and x minus 4 cross out. And why they cross out is you're really dividing it by itself, which is just 1. So right here you can see I have 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3. So I can go ahead and cross those out. And if you look at this fraction, I have x minus 2 and x minus 2, which divided would be 1 as well, so I could cross those out. And so if I'm multiplying these, all I have left is on the top, I have x plus 5, and on the bottom I have x plus 4. And that would be my final answer. You cannot cross out these x's because they all have to have it in common, so that would just be my final answer of x plus 5 over x plus 4. Uh, I'm going to do one other example here, and I'm going to use this one right here where this time I'm dividing. So the first thing you would do is when you divide fractions, you might as well go ahead and take the reciprocal of the second fraction right away. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to re write, rewrite this first fraction as it is. And now I'm going to go ahead and do what I just did. After Again, after you do the reciprocal, you change it from division to multiplication. I'm going to go ahead and factor these four. So this one's going to be 3x and x. And then I have plus 2 and minus 1. When I factor this one, it's going to be 4x and x. And now I have to create positive 5, so this would have to be plus 2, and this is the minus 3. I'm going to go ahead and factor this one. And then this would have to be minus 3 and plus 1. And then I factor this last one here. I'm going to have um, looks like 3x and 2x. I have to make them both negative 1 to make a positive 1. And then I'll do the same thing, what they have in common. So there's a 3x minus 1 and a 3x minus 1. So those would cross out and make a 1. I have a 4x minus 3 and a 4x minus 3. And right here I have x plus 2 and an x plus 2 on the top and bottom. So all I have left is I have 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. And that would be my answer. So again, you'll see these types of questions on my quiz. I have two of them like this, where again, you first want to factor everything and then cross out what's exactly the same in the top and bottom as a diagonal or above it. 